Hey guys, it's Lucas Creations, and I'm doing an update video on how to create the dispersion effect on Photo P. So let's get right into it. First, you want to make a copy of your image. I chose this picture of LeBron. So I'm going to click Duplicate Layer. We click on the one below the duplicated layer, and you want to click Filter, Liquify. And you see this top one, you want to make sure that's selected and you start to pull these out to the side. It's going to look very strange, but and I'll see you guys when this is done. Okay, so now if your image looks like this, then you are ready to hit okay. And now you want to click make sure you're on your first image down here below, your duplicated. You hit the layer mask. And you do the same thing for the top one, you layer mask them both. And now you want to click on this one and you go down in the description I'll have these brushes that you need to download off this website you download them and they should show up in your eraser tool so let me download them real quick and I will see you guys once I have them downloaded so once you get them downloaded you want to hop into your eraser tool click on the brush right here, the drop down, you click on the arrow, you click load TPL, and you click the free broken glass, and then you come in here and you can pick whichever one you want, and you can make the size smaller. You make sure you're clicked on your top layer, and you start to get creative with it. Do whatever you want. You just click you can change brushes obviously do whatever you want next thing you want to do is you look for a texture so maybe like a I like galaxy textures so I'm look up a galaxy texture I'm gonna pick one that I like so I like this one that one doesn't work we'll use this one there we go so I'm gonna click on the resize you resize this to the size of your image and now you move it I like to have mine in between there and you can change you go blending options you can change the opacity you also can put yours above all the layers so you move this layer below that one but you just have to make the opacity smaller I don't really like it like that I like mine in the middle between both of my masks like I like mine when it looks like this but it's all up to preference and what you guys like. You can change it up, do whatever you want, make the opacity less. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, hit that like button and comment down below what else you guys want to see. I hope this helped you guys better than my first ever video. But I will see you guys later. Peace out.